also not in the semi-final, but these guys are all world champion, all former world champion, uh, Jan. Yeah, this is going to be a really tough race, and the start is so important. Yeah. Oh, false start. And you hear the crowds. So, oh. Michelle Mulder took the first false start of this tournament. So, no problems here. But don't do it again. Yeah, you have to be the Colombians at the start. Because otherwise it would be really hard to pass when they are in first and second. Yeah, the Colombian tactic is most likely one guy takes the lead and the second guy tries to stop at the pace a little bit. So there is a gap. And everybody's quiet now. And they're off. Oh! oh. And we see Michel in turn now. Oh! Can he make advantage of this? Oh, a lot of fighting in the first corner. Yeah, we see on the outside Pedro Calcio with a lot of speed now. He passed Michel Mulder, and he's moving up to second now. Oh, Pedro Casillo taking the lead, taking the lead, and Ed Edwin Estrada is in second position now. Jose Fernandez in third, one left to go. Michel can build up, but can he build up enough to pass two skaters? Oh, Michel Mulder is on the outside, and the Colombian guys are on the inside. They are in the leading. The first two positions, Colombia. Can they make Columbia, it to the finish? Colombia, Colombia, two times Colombia. Oh. Ja, en dat is jammer voor Michel Mulder. Hij zal zich niet plaatsen voor de 500 meter op deze afstand. Dit is wel zijn beste prestatie ooit op een piste op de 500 meter. Hij was al eens wereldkampioen, maar dat was op de weg. But what a nice move from Pedro Calcio from Colombia. From fourth to first. Of course, he had a bit help of his teammate in the lead. Yeah, but I think Pedro Castillo is the guy with the most speed in this tournament. We saw him passing. So now there's a second heat. But the French guy, Elton de Souza, German, Simon Albrecht, Korean guy, Yongshin Kim, and Argentina guy, Juan Araldi. Yeah, I'm missing uh, Gwendol Piver here. Yeah, Gwendol had a, a tough quarterfinal. He, uh, was fighting with the South Korean guys who were together, but no disqualifications there, so Gwendal was in fourth position, and he didn't make Brecht is always quick off the start. So I expect he will take the lead. And they're off. He won't take the lead, no. he's in third position. It's the guy from South Korea, Jim Moon Kim, who is in the lead now, and with two laps to go. And we see Elton de Souza in second position, Simon Albrecht is in third, and Elton de Souza is known for really nice moves, so I expect a move from him and try to win this heat. Yeah, we see the Korean guy in first now, he was third last year in the 100 meter on the road so i think we will see him later again so also today in the final as it looks now yeah we have oh. oh it's south korea who takes the lead and elton de souza is second and these are the guys who are in the final you elton saw, de souza and jong jing kim you saw juan cruz araldi fighting with simon albrecht in the last corner and they both didn't make it to the final so the final will be with the two Colombian guys, Edwin Estrada and Pedro Casil, and the friends guy, Elton de Souza, together with Jing Jung Kim. Yes, another fast time of 43.1. Ah. We have